Okay, this is part two of uh, orbital diagrams that we're talking about. Let's go ahead and complete up our chart here. So now we go on to nitrogen. Okay, nitrogen has seven electrons in it. So I'm going to put one electron and another electron in the beginning, S. Then I'll put one electron and one electron, another one in the, the second S. And now I'm going to put one electron in each of the petal shapes. So what's our configuration going to be? It'll be 1s2, arrow up, down, 2s2, arrow up, down, and then 2p3. Now we'll have three lines for that. And then since each electron's in a separate place, I'll have arrow up, arrow up, and arrow up. Now again, I will not pay attention to any ones, so I'm going to have two dots for these two, and then separate, separate, and separate, representing each one of these electrons here. Okay, let's just continue filling out our chart. Go on to the next atom. We're now at oxygen. Oxygen has eight electrons, so we're going to put two in the inner spheres. Remember, there's overlap, but don't pay attention to that. Two in the X sphere. And now what we see is we have to start pairing up petal shapes. I can put one in each of the petal shapes, and then lastly, uh, I have to pair this one right here. See that? So this is going to be 1s2, arrow up, arrow down, 2s2, and up and down arrow again, and then a 2p4. We have three lines available. Now I have to go arrow up arrow up and arrow up and now I have to pair this one here so how does that correlate to the dot diagram well the first two are paired here then I go dot and then I put a dot there and then a dot here and now this one has to be paired so there's six dots around oxygen two pairs and then two singles and that's how it works okay let's uh, go to the next element which is fluorine so I'm going to put one here and one there. Those are in the S orbitals. And then I have petal, another petal, another petal. And now look, I've got to petal, pair two of the petals. So this is going to be 1s2, arrow up, arrow down, 2s2, arrow up, arrow down, and then 2p4. Actually, 2p5. So I've got one, two, three locations. I go arrow up, arrow up, and then arrow up. And then I'm going to start pairing arrow down and arrow down. Representing that pair and this pair. So what are my dots? Again, I'm only paying attention to the twos. So I've got two dots together initially. Then I go one, one, one. And then I pair the other two. And that gives me seven dots total. See, two plus five is seven. And lastly, we get the neon. We're going to put two in the first levels, another two in the S level. These are the, the one S and two S. And then we're going to be paired everywhere going around this diagram like this. So now I have one S, two, arrow up, down, two S, two, arrow up and down, and then 2p6. So three lines for that. We go one, 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 and then we have to pair each of them like that. And we're left with our dot diagram having eight total electrons, each of them paired. Okay, so what happens when we get to the next atoms? Well, we see that the patterns repeat themselves. So when I've got sodium, like this, and I'm going to put two dots in there, two dots in there. I'm going to completely fill up all of my petal shapes. Now I'm out of room, so I have to go to the next level, which starts with a sphere. So I put a dot there. That's going to be the 3S. Okay, now I'm going to try to make this simpler for me to write down here. So all of this is done, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. 
the last one I'm going to write is a 3s1. And then I'll put an arrow up like that. Now remember, I would write all of this, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and then I end up with just writing a 3s1 at the very end here. And I'm just not writing that just to make it easier for me. So I see that I've got one dot there. So then right here, I'm not going to pay attention to any one. I'm not going to pay attention to any two or two here. Three is now my highest level out. So outer electrons, we only pay attention to the outermost electrons. So that would be the three. So therefore, sodium is one dot. So we see that the dots repeat themselves. They go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then they go back to one, two, three, etc. Our last atom is magnesium with 12 total electrons. We're going to put, again, same electrons in. These are all filled up. And I can put two electrons in the 3s2 location. Arrow up and arrow down. Please remember we would write all of this, and you probably should write that in your notes. And ending would be 3s2. So we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and then 3s2. Okay, and then I'm going to put two electrons in there. We're only paying attention to the third level. So I'm then going to just put two dots there. Now that S is filled up, our next level would be 3P. And imagine that's going to be larger Ps. And we just keep repeating these things over and over again. We're going to stop here because it will look pretty complicated. So hopefully that pattern makes sense. And we'll talk about it more in class.